Peru's government is taking the rare step of calling for talks with the political opposition. It comes as the government of President Olanta Humala is facing major questions. CCTV's Dan Collins reports. It was time to talk, but it became clear as political leaders arrived, key opposition players were not among them. The government's gesture for dialogue may have fallen flat. We should build up the Peruvian people's trust in the maturity of their political leaders to act together for the common good of the country in spite of differences of opinions we may have. Acts of good faith only go so far in politics. After a series of political intrigues and blows to his authority, Ollanta Umala's government is struggling to go out on a high. Many question how useful a cross-party dialogue can be without the presence of the main opposition leader. They, that's just part of the problem. A country which has lost faith in its political leaders. Low popularity for presidents is nothing new in Peru. But as legislators desert Umala's governing bloc, he risks losing control over Congress in the final year and a half of his government. It's excessive to call this a crisis. Historically, leaders' approval ratings are very low and distrust in the country's institutions very high. We Peruvians maintain ourselves in this kind of precarious governability. The end of the commodities boom has hit Peru hard. Last year, the economy grew at less than 3 percent. That's half the average rate of the past decade. As the economy weakens, questions are being asked about Umala's ability to push through the necessary reforms before the 2016 presidential election. After insults and heightened tensions on both sides, finding consensus, even for the good of the economy, will prove a challenge. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lima.